Welcome to this video on calculating the hours and minutes between two different times in Microsoft Excel. So on my spreadsheet open right now, I have two columns. G is a start time and H is an end time. And I very simply just want to work out how, how much time is between those two times. And some of them do cross over. See, row 7 starts at 11.45 p.m. and ends the next day at 7.23 a.m. So I can probably work a lot of these out and they've only got six, uh, seven options. But if I've got a lot more data, then there's a quick function you can use to make this work for you. And you do before you do that, you just need to make sure your cells are formatted correctly. Otherwise, you will get an error. So let's just select the start and end times, all of those cells, and just right click and format just to make sure we are on the right format and yes I want to be on this one here it's 01 colon 30 and it's got pm at the end of it now make sure there's a space between the time and the am or the pm in your formatting so that's absolutely fine the format's great there also, you just want to check the format of the column where you're going to put that data in because you don't want this to have a PM or an AM on it. This is going to be a duration. This is going to be the difference. So if I right click and format cells on that one, I just need to make sure and you can see there that one has been selected. So it's very similar to the others, but it doesn't have an AM or a PM at the end of it. And that's absolutely correct because I want the time and difference, not the time of day. So let's click on OK. And then all I need to do is use this really quick function that I'm just going to show you. And it's mod. And I'm using mod because it helps when time frames go over into a new day. So like I mentioned, row 7 starts at 11.45 p.m. and then goes to 7.23 a.m. If I use a different calculation, it might get a little bit confused. So mod helps this and it stops negative numbers being added. So all I'm going to do, like any other function, is I'm going to click on the cell where I want that data to be entered, and I'm going to equals and MOD for mod. This is a super simple one, but you do need to remember this next piece. I'm going to add the end time first. So I'm going to do the end time minus the start time, and that's my number. So end time minus the start time. And then I'm going to put a comma in because you can see I've got a divisor there. And my divisor for this little bit of functionality is a 1. And then close that brackets. So I've got end time minus start time, comma, 1. And when I press enter, it's giving me 8 hours and 53 minutes. And all I need to do then is click and drag that down. And you can see, even though this one here in row seven, even though it goes overnight, it's given me seven hours and 38 minutes, which if I do a quick calculation in my head is absolutely right. Yes, it is. Because it's taken into account that 15 minutes that's in the previous day. But if I didn't use mod, if I use a different calculation, I would have probably got a minus or a negative number in that one. So I can see here that I've got a few orders that have taken a long time and a couple that are really quick and simple and easy. So it's allowed me to calculate and see that hours and minutes in between two different times in Microsoft Excel. So if you're having to interrogate your data and figure out some time frames, then this might be a useful little function for you. Remember, equals mod, end time minus start time, comma and one, just to help stop any negative numbers if you cross over days, and this will really be a nice, useful little function for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.